All right, our next caller is Marjorie from Macon. Hi, Marjorie. Hello. Hi, Marjorie. Hey, Go Marjorie. ahead with your question. I wanted to know if you are married to a military member for 35 years and then you get a divorce um, and the military member gets remarried, are you, um, as the first spouse, entitled to any kind of pension or anything? Well, at the time that you divorced Marjorie, and that is a very good question, um, as part of the divorce, you would have had to have divided the military retirement just like you divided the balance in the bank account or the equity in the home. Now, if it was overlooked and it was not addressed, then we've got a problem. Uh, but if uh, this is an action that may be pending, then you need to have a good, reputable lawyer, a lawyer that's familiar with military family law issues to help you uh, so that you can value what that your share of the military retirement is, do the proper order, process it through the right federal agencies, and make sure that you get all of the benefits, including survivor benefits, commissary benefits, base exchange benefits, health care benefits, mm -hmm. health care benefits that will last the rest of your life. So it's very important to get a competent attorney that knows the issues and knows how to deal with the issues. If, uh, if they weren't addressed, as I said, there's some problems there. Thank you for your question. Opinions expressed on Law Call are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of 13 WMAZ staff or management, nor any legal or judicial entity. The legal information supplied in this broadcast is general information only and is not intended to be legal advice for any given situation. Do not rely on broadcast information without consulting an attorney. Contingent attorney's fees refers only to those fees charged by the attorneys for legal services. Such fees are not permitted in all types of cases. Court costs and other additional expenses of legal action usually must be paid by...